So guys, we have some cookies, which looks not normal cookies, something special about them. And uh, we will ask uh, Monsieur Toma, the man of the house, <laughs> to explain <laughs> <I'm> us. <still. laughs> so still. Thomas, what is, the speci what is special about these cookies? Yeah, I was telling you before that uh, here, uh -huh. in this place of France, Alsace, uh -huh. uh, Christmas is more celebrated than in France. Okay. And uh, this is one of the specific aspects uh -huh. of uh, Christmas here. Okay. The food. The food, yes. The food. <laughs> uh, December is a um, quite difficult month for, <laughs> for us. Yeah. Yes, I yeah, can very, imagine. Very difficult sometimes. A lot of eating. Because uh, we... We don't need reason to eat. Yes, yes, we yes, eat, yes. and after eating, we eat more. Yes, and uh, we have that uh, kind of biscuit. Uh -huh. This is a specialty. Okay. This is a specialty. Here yeah, we call that not in French but uh, in uh, uh, Alsace speech. We uh -huh. call that bredele. 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 B o e d e l e. Okay. Bredele. Okay. It's, it is a term specific for this kind of uh, biscuit. Okay. For a man, it is imp important to have uh, a wife in the house able <laughs> to cook that, uh, that biscuit. Yeah, okay. Very important. Yeah. Okay, okay. Very important. And also a wife to try. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. And you want to try? Yeah. Um, try. I, I know already I love that. Uh, I, I don't eat... Uh, in the same time, I am speaking, but uh, you don't need any reason to eat that. Okay, okay. It's just good. It's just good, so yes. <laughs> so guys, welcome back to Traveling Cherry. Uh, I have something very interesting to share with you. And uh, my friend Lorian, who you have seen in the previous videos, who is hosting me with uh, Toma, is also uh, a healing therapist. And uh, she, she gained her license in India with the healing therapy from the sound of Tibetan bowls. And I'm very lucky that I got a chance to come here and experience this uh, with Lorian. So I requested Lorian if uh, I would like to receive the, the healing therapy with the sound of Tibetan bowls. And she agreed to it very happily. I'll try to show you how it looks like, what Lorian is doing and how the Tibetan, the healing therapy from the sound of Tibetan bowl works. So I'm very excited. I hope you are also. So stay tuned. Keep watching Traveling Cherry. So Lorian, Namaste. Namaste. How are you doing today? Fine and you? Very good. Uh, Lorian, can I ask you something about this? Yeah, tell me. So, um, tell me a little bit that why you decided to follow or decided to learn this Tibetan bowl therapy and what do you think about it and how are you trying to help people using this? Uh, because, I, because I was in India uh -huh. and I met a Nepali boy uh -huh. and uh, he come from uh, Nepal uh -huh. and I start to to uh, interest myself to the Tibetan bowl uh -huh. and uh, wanted to do yeah and I he heard about this uh, Tibetan healing with the sound of Tibetan bowl uh -huh. uh, because we spoke with my friend in Bengaluru. Uh -huh. And uh, I'm thinking I want to discover and I want to do uh, the uh, training uh -huh. for therapists. So you did the training in Bengaluru in India? Yeah, with a Nepali boy. And how long was this training? Uh, it was a full one week. Okay. Full, full. Uh -huh. 
uh, and he come from also with the ball okay the seven uh, tibetan ball okay with the seven chakra okay and is uh, uh, this ball is certified uh, ball of healing okay yeah and accorded accorded, accorded. okay okay yeah. okay okay and uh, when when you do the healing therapy with the sound of the tibetan bowl what kind of uh, issues it help to deal uh, with you can come if you have migraine uh -huh. okay to, to be better uh -huh. if you think a lot uh, if you have a problem uh, here uh, in your here, stomach uh -huh. uh, yeah or in the legs or what you have uh, problem you can come so it can try to heal every part of body and not just yeah. body but also mind and heart yes sure okay and also you can just come if you want to be relax peaceful yes and relax yes okay uh so is it possible that i can ask you to to do a little session on me so that i would like to experience this from you who is a friend also and who is also certified now to be yeah. a therapist yes we can yes, try yes, this a little we can bit try. Yeah. okay so it's a good idea so thank you lorian for giving your information thank you and Sharon. now let's <laughs> try to do this and then i want to experience so that i will tell people that how how did i feel how magical it was and uh Yes, I'm looking forward to do it. Let's go, cello. And like there is this? seven ball, like okay. the seven chakra. Ah, okay. okay, okay. And yeah, like this because this is root chakra. Okay. This one. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And you have the crown chakra. Uh huh. The third chakra. Okay. The throat chakra. Uh huh. The heart chakra. Okay. And after you have the sacral chakra. Okay. Solar chakra. Solar chakra. Okay. Sacral chakra. Okay. And Krasin, uh, root chakra. Okay. 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 Chalo? Chalo. Okay. Okay. We start. You can close your eyes. Mm -hmm. If it's too much for you, you can. Yes, don't worry. <coughs> Beautiful. What you feel? First or maybe of all, you don't feel something. No, first of all, I would say I feel relaxed. Yeah. In my life, I'm always running, running, yeah, running, yeah, yeah, and doing yeah. a lot. Yeah. 
I'm very active. Yeah. Hyper active. Yeah. And uh, I felt calm. Yeah. I felt at peace. Yeah. I felt I can continue and continue to do it. Yeah, I think 45 minutes you will sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's good. How do we call them? Mon Santo Dil. Mon Santo Dil? Mon Santo Dil. Mon Santo Dil. Yes. Okay.